follow this path, underlining the importance of agribusiness. And we will talk about Almavico, Center for uh, and we have the University Center for Cooperation. We have with us Mr. Piero Ingrosso. We would like to thank the president of Lega Cop, that is important for this uh, delegation, Mrs. Maura Latina, CEO of Coop Italy and uh, Regional Coop president. The intervention of Piero Ingrosan will be focused on op Think for Food, Open Innovation for Sustainable Development Agri-Food uh, Cooperative District. Thank you very much. I will try to do my intervention in English. President at Almavico, University Center for Promoting and the Training of the Cooperative Enterprise. Today I'm very happy to be here. Thanks for the invitation. And I would like to share with you the, our project called the Think for Food, Open Innovation for the Sustainable Development in Agri-Food Cooperative District. In the previous uh, speeches, we have listened from uh, Francesco, from Christian, how important is the uh, innovation into the entire filiera or district in English. Now we're going to see uh, some more details on how, what in Almavico we are doing about it. But first of all, let me just introduce our organization. Almavico is founded by Legaco Bologna, University of Bologna. G this is just few numbers, few figures to give you an idea. Uh, we are, our job is basically try to connect two different ecosystems. On one side, we have the University of Bologna with almost 90,000 students, but also uh, almost 3,000 lecturers between teachers and professor and assistant. On the other hand, we have the cooperative enterprises of the Bologna area uh, with over uh, 40, 47 uh, employees and 2.4 million of members. Now, it's not an easy task to try to connect these two ecosystem, but it's extremely important. It is important for the cooperative ecosystem because we need innovation, we need young talents, we need ideas, but also we need specific uh, skills that we can find in the university, in research labs, in class, and uh, from also from the energies from the younger generation, which is also part of our mission as a cooperative movement. Uh, on the other hand, the University of Bologna needs to find a way to connect with the, ent with the cooperative enterprise with the, the businesses in general, to try to find a way to develop the, uh, their ideas, their research, the work that basically sometimes are just stiffed in some, in some lab. Uh, so now, a tool, a process that we have identified to try to connect this choose ecosystem is called the open innovation. It's a very simple process that say that you don't need to focus on internal ideas in your organization in order to develop and try to find innovation, but you need to look outside, outside your own organization. So what better place is than university ecosystem with students, with professors, with researchers. Open innovation so became a, a way to establish a connection, but also to create a new ecosystem, which is the mix of the two together. And this is a very short uh, uh, chart just to show you how it can work and how it works for us. But now the, 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 the new, new challenge is about the sustainable development goals, because uh, for the SDGs, uh, all the challenges are very much interconnected. Okay, so you cannot just focus on one challenge, on one specific sector. That's why our practicing in uh, connecting different ecosystems can come very useful. And that's why open innovation can be extremely useful tools in order to achieve the SDGs, in order to create what we call cross-disciplinary collaboration, cross-pollination of solutions. So this is the idea, not just stay and do our job in our cooperative enterprise, not just spend time in class or research lab, but try a way to contaminate, to work together, to uh, cross-pollinate ideas. This is very quickly because uh, I, don't, I know that we don't have much time left. This is just uh, to give you an idea of what we call the five key principles uh, about uh, open, open innovation and uh, what we call, what we like to call cooperative innovation, which is very close. W what it was funny that uh, once I was uh, on a trip in uh, Silicon Valley and uh, we, we found uh, a very specific statement say that uh, innovation is a cooperative effort. 
uno sforzo cooperativo. That was very, very interesting. So now just back to Think for Food, as I say, is an open innovation program connecting the cooperative enterprises with startups, researchers, university students. We are looking for people with innovative ideas for sustainable development in the agri-food sector specifically. The entire this district, cooperative district, is covered. Uh, so we're starting from agricultural production, farming, food processing, retail, uh, food services, packaging, logistic sector, organic food, and of course uh, education, which is very important in order to uh, work on sustainable development, focusing on the new generation in terms of, of education. What we use basically three different uh, tools, instruments, to create those connections. One is a, a call for ideas that we promote uh, in the Bologna area with the support of the Bologna uh, Chamber of Commerce, but also with the support of some of our cooperatives. First of all, I would like to thank Copreno, but also Copitalia and comes to we have many collaborations, and many other cooperatives and other organizations like Impronta Etica, for example, or Innovacop, working together because uh, when you focusing on open innovation, you need to create a net, a very strong network. You, you cannot just spend your time in your own organization. You need to look outside, and that's why networking is very important. So Call Up for Ideas is one of our tools. Then we have a Call for Talent specific for the University of Bologna. We do it every year during the Startup Day of University of Bologna, which is the largest entrepreneurial uh, students uh, uh, event in Italy, and we are scouting for ideas, for talents, for people. And finally, we have the academy that we are promoting with other, with other organization. And uh, the challenge here is to have together people from the cooperative enterprises, people from the university attending and teaching each other, but also exchanging experiences, best practices, projects. This is the idea of our academy. And uh, coming soon, thanks to COP Fund, but also to Lega Cop Agroalimentare, to Lega Cop Produzione Servizi, to ANCC, we are working on a new project called COP for Food. It's basically, uh, we are trying to scale it up on a national level, the project, the Think for Food uh, project. It, again, it's a cooperative effort. We are working as a team. We are trying to involve many different cooperative enterprises in the entire country, coming from different uh, areas of the, the district, of the sector, and try to focus in on training, tutorial, and project work in order to find new way through open innovation to find a solution and some solution in order to achieve one or more of the sustainable development goals. Um, finally, I would just leave you with a, a very short video just to give you an idea of the young talents that we are looking for. Uh, this one particularly will show you the experience of uh, uh, Adaptronics from University of Bologna focusing on the sustainable packaging. Uh, we were really pleased because uh, after they won the last uh, Think for Food edition, they also won the Star Cup in uh, Regione Emilia Romagna, and uh, mm, just a couple of months ago, they also won the Italian National Prize, uh, the Italian National Award for Innovation. That again uh, can testify how important is networking and uh, sharing experiences. So I leave you with this, and thank you very much for your kind attention. Grazie, Piero. Electronics nasce come startup per creare dispositivi di presa elettroadesiva del packaging e uno scotch sensorizzato per renderlo più intelligente e quindi ottimizzare tutto il settore della logistica. This can optimize the logistics sector. With this physical principle we can create machines that can manipulate the packaging and we can rethink about all the technologies of manipulating the packaging without using compressors with suction cap gripping, which are quite bulky and big, or electromagnets that can consume a lot of energy, and we can use uh, robot batteries. Thanks to this uh, sensorized uh, tape, we can have a biodegradable technology because uh, these tape are made of paper with uh, printed electronics uh, that are, can be recycled. 
So once the package did its own work, so after we have read the information thanks to this sensorized tape, this can be thrown in the paper collection, and we can use circular economy strategies because thanks to the reading the information, we can know if we can use it or we can throw it away. We chose to